a Khmer style dance performed by people who intimately understand its theme. Cluster bombs rain down on Cambodian land worked by farmers planting the rice. The harvest, countless victims maimed for life decades after the bombs stop falling. Yun Sam En knows all too well how dangerous the Cambodian countryside can be. He remembers as a child the American bombing over his country during the Vietnam War. But it wasn't until some 30 years later that a cluster bomb cost him both his hands and his eyesight. I knew how dangerous the bomblets were, but I was collecting them because I was afraid my children might get hurt. Unfortunately, I was the one who got injured. During the Vietnam War, American planes dropped around 285 million cluster munitions on Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam as American forces tried to destroy North Vietnamese supply lines along the infamous Ho Chi Minh Trail. While Laos has the dubious distinction of being the world's most heavily bombed nation, Cambodia also suffered heavily during the Vietnam War. Now this is a cluster bomb and this is a bomblet. You'd normally find several hundred of these inside this casing. At least 26 million bomblets fell on Cambodia. And now some 30 years on, it's thought up to 6 million could still lie undetonated in the countryside. Yet despite the number of cluster bomblets rained down on Cambodia, it has yet to back the ban on cluster munitions which came into force on Monday. The Cambodian Mine Action Centre says the reason Cambodia has not signed the treaty is partly down to not knowing where all the bomblets are, but also a lack of resources to commit to it. We signed one convention and we very, very active in this and our people still have a lot of impact on that. And we really need the resources to achieve, as a state party, we really want to achieve this. But we do not have adequate resources. Cambodia did sign the international ban on landmines, but Ratana says it could take another decade to clear the country completely. Tun Chanaret lost both legs to an anti-personnel mine in 1982. He received the Nobel Peace Prize on behalf of the international campaign to ban landmines in 1997 and now campaigns actively against the use of cluster munitions. For me, for us, uh, we want Cambodian country uh, to sign the treaty because we don't want to see any people, any child, men and women lose hope by a cluster munition. Sam Ern is also keen for the Cambodian government to sign the treaty. Now completely reliant on the help of his family, his greatest wish for no more people to suffer like him. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh, Cambodia.